Dolce getting laser on my armpits and bikini and navel. I've done, this is session number eight. Okay, are you seeing a difference? Yeah, definitely. Oh, they're fantastic. <laughs> Very happy. Is it taking longer to grow in? Yeah. And it's thinner? Okay. Easier when you take. So much easier. some nice warm heated bed and blanket and I'll be back in four weeks. The warm bed is much better because you come in here it's like 58 degrees. Then the bed is cold because of the cold air and they got to take their clothes sit on it and then the air is freezing. So they're like, uh, I got two pairs of pants, two shirts. So we came up with this whole thing to get a heated bed. I have six more treatments and it went great. It doesn't hurt at all. It's just cold. <laughs> Toolbox, so you can put these pictures and this stuff up for me. I don't have any tools here. Head How do you not have any tools, George? Come on. I this... have tools in my head. I'm working in this house. All my tools are in his basement. So she calls me up here to hang a fucking picture up. Okay, like it's the end of the world. But look at the rest of the wall. This shit. She just sticks things on. Apparently, he's independently wealthy. He never wants to fix anything. He never wants to fix anything in the office. So at least I can pay him to do it. Look. What kind of this is on? Who puts things on here like this? What is this? Friction? Technology? That's great, isn't it? Putting things together, it's months. I still can't even open the drawers right. There's no there's no handles. Like I don't even know how to, there's tape. We have to open the drawer with tape. It's crazy. We should have a frame here where these just slip into it. The normal way, you know? Not this whatever way that this is. Here's George. He's here and he never put handles on the door and we have to use tape to open the handles. This is how it works. When somebody gets paid to do something, they can do it. Asshole doesn't do work when someone else gets paid. I can't stand it. How much do I have to pay you? You're actually fixing something? The front door? It needs an adjustment. Where are the rest of these? Where's the box with all the little screws and stuff? Why? Shit. Holy shit. fuck, like a neg. Ah, oh, get out of here. Go get a real job. Oh, Lord. George has been here a lot trying to hang things with these. Not saying much. A monkey can hang something with that. I'm not even fucking done with this one. Oh. Nice. This is very nice. This is to hold all my brochures. I don't have to go run back and forth for them. Okay. So here's another thing that George has to do. The front door is still messed up. You didn't fix it. It's got to, you got to put strips in it. You got to get by. Why didn't you bring it with you? Why do you just do a half-assed job? Why do you do a half-assed job all the time? Don't you want, what's this? See what happens? Asshole that painted the place has to come back now and fucking touch all this up because some dope didn't know how to put a picture up and it's crooked. 
That too, it's another one. That's another one. What she sees me, you know what she sees me as? A tool. Oh, That's all I am is a tool. A fucking tool. Yeah. I'm not her friend, I'm her tool. Remember that. So today I'm the picture hanger. Trust me, she'll make me hang fucking pictures and then she'll go, I gave you $40 worth of cutlets. Remember that time? Right? <laughs> Your patients are sitting here. This stuff goes here or here, right where they can see it. Because they're laying down. When you get your box wax, you might want to read about other shit that you can get done here. He doesn't do anything. He lies. He comes in and he's like, oh, I'm in pain. I'm hungry. I play pain. It's tilted. It is not. Yes, it is. Is that tilted? Yes, that it looks is. Straight no. It's going to stick it off. You. next week so I just want to look beautiful and Jen is my fairy godmother and she does the most amazing work so that's why I'm here. Ultra is this incredible amazing music festival that's three days long in Miami and um, people just are high on Molly and drunk and having a good time. She's so beautiful, I love her. She's one of my favorite patients. Isn't she gorgeous? Look how gorgeous she is. Oh, she's my fave. <laughs> I was wondering if we could just do like half of it. Sure. And then when I come back, I could do the rest. Sure. Yeah. Okay, good breath. She has really, she has a really beautifully, beautiful shaped lip. Her lips are very soft. She has a lot of volume in the center of her lips, so she's looking for more volume in the corners. Okay. So what we do is we do a technique, and it's kind of like, it's kind of lifting up the the um the body of the lip, and you kind of just try to keep it in the area where you're where you're condensing it. Oh, this looks good. So far, so good. And it doesn't take much for her to look good. They already look gorgeous. Okay. Beautiful. Mm. Deep breath. This hurts a little bit in the corners. Deep breath. How long did it wait, by the way? What? 72 hours before coming here to drink? I mean, like, yeah. Like, a few days. Two or three days. What do you think? You're a little bit bigger. Sure. Like, this side's small. What did you think about, like, A little bit. Here? Let me see. It's small. Yeah. Should I do, like, 75% of it? I mean, you can handle it on your lips. I mean, yeah. I mean I'm going to be honest with you. You could. Yeah. You know, you have, you, you, your lips are already the whole thing. Well, let's see what we use on this side, okay. and then we'll I'll do another touch around the corners, and we'll see. So that looks good. I don't know. You want to save it? How many do you have? How many much do we you have? have half. A little bit, uh, exactly half. Can you do seventy-five? Sure. Okay. tenting when you do it from top to bottom. Turn this way to me. This she might bruise a little bit here. I'm sorry. Uh -huh. Oh my god. I didn't tell you. What? I got my booze done. You did? I know. Wow. Where'd you go? Were the you here? City. The city? Yeah. Do you love them? Yeah. How long ago? Three weeks ago. Really? And you're walking around, you're not in pain? I was oh. dying after I got mine done. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I thought I was gonna kill myself. Oh my god, it was so painful. I had them done twice. I did them I did them in, when I was well, I did them when I was um thirty-one after I had my second. 
And I, I, knew, I didn't think I was going to have any more kids. And then I had, yeah, feel They feel real. So natural. Thank you. They're, they're, mine are in silicone. They're sal saline. Mm-hmm. You know the saline too? Mm -hmm. Um, And then I had my daughter, and she breastfed. Mm -hmm. So that's why I decided to do it. And I didn't think I was going to have any more kids, but I did. And I changed. Changed them? Not only did it change them, I had a hysterectomy after I had my last one. Oh, I, my whole body uh, frame changed. My chest was so big. Really? Like, two years ago, it was like a G. I was a D. Oh, so I was you like had a good reduction. They, I had to. I, 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 wow. I, I, just, I, just, I just reduced them. I reduced everything because they were huge. And I looked fat. I looked so <laughs> fat with them. I looked like, and they looked like otters. They were so ugly. They were huge. And the, and the nipples were like this big. They were disgusting. But they were so pretty when I first had right. them. But, you know, when you get older, things change. But now, they're good again. Now, now I had them lifted. Now they're very, like, Now balanced. they're perky. No, they are. They're good now. I mean, they're, they're, they're comfortable. They're not like they're, it was so it was so they were so big they were so uncomfortable mm. and I couldn't wear anything I couldn't find mm -hmm. shirts to wear any mm -hmm. everything even if I, this here my waist was small mm -hmm. they mm -hmm. were so big mm -hmm. I looked no I looked I looked obscene it was bad <laughs> like I couldn't oh, walk no it was horrible my kids didn't want me to go on the beach with them they're like mom your chest is so big everybody's staring at you yeah it was so bad it's kind of hot though it was hot <laughs> yeah but, I think they look good they look perfect for Miami. Thanks, Jen. <laughs> Ever a Gucci? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Did they think you were gonna knock over? Yeah. <laughs> that was the ugliest fucking bag I've ever seen. Is that why you want? Is that why you came here? Because you wanted to give me the bag? No, I had to take a pee. <laughs> I really had to piss. <laughs> but that was. Oh my god! Look at how nice my is bag that? is. <gasps> I didn't really didn't think you were gonna get it for me. Thank you. Oh, do you know how much this means to me? Oh, okay. Good. It is. It's beautiful. It Just is. Like you. It's so nice. <laughs> Thank you. A thousand dollars for that? Jesus Christ. But at least she's happy. Oh, that's for now. Yes. Our patients Stacy has been here before. She's been here with her her friends and her friends have been here with her friends. Our patient Stacy has been here before. She's been here with her her friends, accompanying them during their procedures. So now Stacy has decided to come to me to do her lip enhancement today. She's had them done before, but now she wants to come to the master. So the Picasso of Botox and the film world. So welcome. <laughs> <laughs> and she's really cute. We like her. She just wants to kind of contour the shape, give it a little bit more volume, um, and kind of um, just just give it a little zhuzh. Okay, you ready? Mm -hmm. So let your hand back. Take a deep breath. She treats you very nice. She she explains everything before the procedure. You still have some product in here. Mm-hmm. Mm, I feel it. All right, we'll mold them up. You're not, you're not afraid of the sight of blood, right? You're okay? Mm -mm. Okay with needles? You're not okay with needles? Mm -mm. Okay, so let's, let's talk about it. Everybody wants keyhole, the um, lips. It's just the shape of a lip. And a lot, a lot of people that I've seen use these, these, these helpers to help them give the keyhole look. I don't need that when you're an artist. You could do it on your own. So I have a technique where I just kind of pinch the lip. So this is half, okay? I'm going to let you a little bit more than, a little bit less than half. I don't even think they need more. No, I think they look good. Oh, it hurts a little, so. Okay, that's it, that's it. Okay, perfect. Just a little pout. Yes! <laughs> that is so exciting. That looks so pretty. We'll do have a half, okay? Mm -hmm. So we're gonna, we're gonna seal it, we're gonna put your name on it, okay? Mm-hmm. So, so pretty. Oh my God, it's so nice! <laughs> Another happy client. <laughs> Oh, she's so cute. Let me give her a hug. I love her. She's so cute. Thank you. I really enjoyed that. I'm in love with my lips. I'm in love with the way she did them. And it's just great customer service here. Recently, me and Staj got into like a little tiff about him coming to the office only three hours 
a week. He goes on vacation for a week and she says nothing. I'm here, I, I miss one day and she calls me like crazy, where am I? I never said that, why the fuck do you keep saying stuff? You shit, said Dorina called you, you in the morning really, for I her schedule. Yes, she did. I heard I'm you say that. Up, I'm not I'm making it up. it up. It's so childish and dumb and I just don't got time for it, I hung up on her. Stash, the manager in um, Brooklyn is no longer the manager. I took over his position because he did nothing. Now kids, you gotta play nice in the sandbox now. Oh, Fuck yeah. this sandbox, I'm not in the sandbox. I know you're not. Stash lost his position because he did nothing. This is like the third time. I don't know what she has against me. No, you know he's a fucking liar. I'm sorry. Well, soon I'll be injecting and then she'll be answering the phones for me too. When you're a manager, you really need to dedicate your life to it. He's a fucking liar. You know, when once I graduate school and I begin injecting, I'm not going to be able to work with her, so I'm going to have Jen fire her. So he only comes in on Tuesdays for three hours and he literally does nothing but look at BMW cars. Or get her fired. Whatever I have to do, because we can't work together. Everybody thinks that I favor you. That's what I get. I get I get all the time that, yes, that you are favored. Yes. He wants a certain milk. We have it. Sugar, we have it. We have a stupid mat on the floor because Stash wanted it. It serves no purpose. It's just there so you can slip and fall on your ass. She was really mad at you. Whose yeah. problem is that at the end of the day? But it's her problem, but, exactly. but that's... <laughs> <laughs> he thinks it's like fucking a joke. And I'm just getting sick of it. Maybe that's like her child. Does she doesn't have a son, so maybe she that's like her son. We and Stash fight bad. We fight. Bad. I fly and Stash like three times. This was, you know, when you check the patient out, you have to write on the list on on the my list and Debbie's list. She wants me to do this dumb paperwork, and she can't even say what she wants me to do correctly. All she does is stutter. What the patient gave you in cash, or what they pay get do, do that. <laughs> what is it gonna take you? 30 seconds to do it and write it down. You can't do it. Stash would leave here crying when we used to fight because I used to be so mean to her. And then she used to call me and apologize for being such a dick. How are you, darling? Good. I'm so glad you? that you're here. Thank good you. to see you. Same How have here. you been? Good, you? Yeah. I'm good. good. So, we're finishing the rest? Yes. Okay. The top is like a little bigger than the bottom, so okay. I just want to make like. I don't want, want the bottom, from? yeah, I don't want it to be too big, but just like a little. A little bit bigger. Yeah. I'm getting my lips done today by Jen. This is probably like my third time here. She's amazing. The Thank first time you Yara had a little incident. <laughs> <laughs> No, that was the second time. That was the second That's why time. I thought it was weird because it was the second time. I really, she had, she had excessive swelling on her lips. It was just like, her, did you eat anything hot or spicy know. that day? I don't know. Because a lot of times when you have open sores on the lips, because I mean, it's not, I wouldn't say it's a sore, but open puncture yeah. ones. If you eat something really spicy or really hot, your lips will blow up. I mean, they will yeah. get like that. So I'm thinking either that, maybe it was just like a, some kind of something you ate that you were allergic to. It could have been anything yeah. because it didn't happen to you since. No, no, no. You know, that was or, just the only time. Or how, yeah, how she was. I felt so bad for her, and I was, <laughs> and I was away in Dominican Republic when it happened. I that know, was so was funny. Panicking. I was like, tell her to calm down. <laughs> it's gonna go away. It's not gonna stay like that. But then you were fine. Yeah, it was fine. Was like, so I've tried the ultra and the regular Juvederm, and I feel like the ultra is better because it does last longer um, and I just feel like it makes the lips look way better than the, the regular Juvederm. Okay, that's it. We did the whole syringe. Okay. I don't think you're going to swallow it all. It could be okay. So we mold the lips because when we inject the Juvederm it's like, it's like depositing little drops of the hyaluronic acid so you have to mold it. It's like mold, it's like sculpting clay. When you have any kind of trauma to the lip, okay, usually what will happen is you will swell, you will bleed, you've got some bruising. So sometimes, if at, right after the procedure, because you still have a puncture wound that's kind of still open, if something enters it that's spicy or something, something like you're eating like hot sauce or buffalo wings, it can cause it to enter the puncture wounds and it can cause excessive swelling. And it has happened to a few of my clients. I had a client leave my office and eat hot wings right after 
after. She didn't even feel her lips because she had numbing cream on. Didn't realize how swollen her lips were and her lips were like exploded. So after you do your lips, you shouldn't do any use anything hot. You shouldn't do take any um any, use um eat anything spicy, any any hot sauce because you will cause cause excessive swelling around your lips. Am I an angry driver, Lillian? Raymond, because why do you have to do this to me? This is what you do to me. Jen can't drive. She does not focus on the road. <laughs> so she's on the phone, having conversations, texting, thinking. It's not fair. It's not fair. So sometimes I have anxiety while with her in the car. I'm with Nick and Liliana. And you were talking like that in front of Juliana? Why? What do you think? Juliana never heard of before? The girl's pregnant. She's stuffed like a fucking uh, Thanksgiving Day turkey. <laughs> so Ava, my baby, my 11-year-old, wants to be a singer and a dancer. So we decided that she should make her own music video. And Ray is her producer slash agent slash director slash... A makeup artist slash fashion <laughs> consultant. He's everything for her. And I think him and her did a really, really good job. So I can't wait for you to see the video. 